If you're looking to get a little creative with the kids at home or for a trip out of the house, <laughs> Adrian has spun up an idea. Yeah, so much fun. In today's The Science of It, I gave the Orlando Science Center a visit and learned about creating some spin art. Maybe you've been at home coloring in the lines, trying to figure out the best way to create some art. Well, we have definitely got the thing for you here today. We're joined by Tori at the Orlando Science Center and we are about to get messy with art. What are we doing today? All right, so today we're going to be doing spin art in two different ways. We do have an at-home activity that we can try first that's okay. going to be a little easier to do. And then we have a bigger version that we'll try in just a bit. So here we have a top that we made out of gluing a marble to the bottom of a CD and then a marker cap to the top. So okay. we're going to spin it inside of our container and add a little bit of paint and it should give us that spin art effect by simulating um, throwing the paint around just like you would on a roller coaster. Our paint mixture that we're going to be using is two thirds paint to one third water to kind of water it down a little okay. bit. And um, okay, go ahead and spin it and we can kind of start to see what happens when we add the paint on top. Let's see if I can remember how to spin. <laughs> oh. We can try a couple times for sure. Yeah. Wow. I'm. It's a little harder because of the. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. There you go. We can keep spinning it. <laughs> there we go. Put some pink on there. Got to get the pink in there. Making some purple. That looks awesome. <laughs> it looks very cool. And this is something easy. Well, if you don't. Can and you can you keep just... spinning it and try oh, different ways. Spinning it faster. Spinning it slower. Try and spinning it the opposite direction will give you all Let's different see. effects to try at home. Let's see what that looks Very like. Very cool. Okay. You did, you did a great job. <laughs> so we did the small sort of at home version of this, but now we're going to step it up a notch here at the Science Center and really make a mess. Yeah. So we have <laughs> this big contraption that we've built for Mess Fest, uh, an event we do uh, that we used to do. And we have this hand drill down here that is attached to this large circular platform. Mm -hmm. And then we just kind of put feet on it. Okay. So we're going to um, do our art here on this surface. And we'll see when we add the paint that it's going to pull all that paint around to the outsides of the surface. So we're going to go ahead and I guess turn it on and try okay. it out. You ready? <laughs> there it goes. All right. And it's going to get faster and faster. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can add it wherever we want. <laughs> and really, like you said, it's the same force that we're used to seeing when you're on the roller coaster. Yeah, when it pulls you to the side on that roller coaster, right. it's exactly what we're doing to all of the paint here on the surface. So we're kind of using physics to make art. <laughs> Absolutely. What's the, the thing that's best about this for the kids? Is it the mess or is it the creation at the end? I think it is the mess and then, oh, <laughs> we can go ahead and turn it off. <laughs> I think it is the mess and then um, they're surprised about what the creation looks like at the end right, because they kind of just went for it. Right. We have no idea. We put it on there, but it looks like there might be some little streaks coming in from yeah, the side. Yeah, and we'll see that in just a moment. And they're really impressed with their creations whenever they do these. That's awesome. <laughs> and we got the, um, in, when we're doing these activities too, we're working with color mixing and seeing all the different colors that it makes. So we've got some purples here from the pink and the blue and there it is. It's like tie-dye. Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's all the way pulled to the side, so it, it mixed pretty well here. All right. And that's that all the spinning awesome. science I have for you today. When you guys are doing this with the kids, how are you explaining to them? What what exactly are you explaining so to them? So we kind of do where we um, where we explain how it's going to pull the paint and how the way that it rotates pulls the paint out to the different sides and kind of talk about motion like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they enjoy it. We uh, have a good time doing it um, during Mess Fest, but I'm glad we could do it here today too yeah, as well. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. What else can you tell us about the at home? So we, we did the small version. Um, what sort of things have you guys been doing then for the kids for the at home stuff? Yeah, so if you guys go to um, osc.org, you can see all of the OSC at home activities. But again, we really wanna see everybody in the building. We're open again. We have a lot of new safety measures in place and we're doing everything as safe as possible so that everybody can still enjoy science and do art and things like that. That's wonderful. Tori, thanks so much for Thank you. helping to create this amazing art. We have the small version and the much larger, more fun version. Yes, the Science Center <laughs> style version. <That's> right. <laughs> The Orlando Science Center is open Thursdays through Tuesday. Wednesdays, the center is closed for deep cleaning. It also offers weekly science camp for kids. And if you want to see what they're creating for at-home scientists, they've got a newsletter. You can sign up on your website. Look pretty good, Adrian. It, it was a lot of fun out there. The only thing that I would say is you could just take some paint and spin around yourself if you wanted to, but your parents might get mad. I so I didn't really tell you to do that, kids. I angry. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. All right.